Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. What's up, guys? So... You guys had a lot of really, really good comments on this. Um, one of them was, I talk too much, and I apologize. I'm glad multiple people said that, because I hate when people just over-talk in videos. That's not what I watch videos for. So thanks for letting me know. I'm going to try and be a lot shorter, quicker, to the point. So one of the suggestions, and I really, really like it, was instead of taking these down, um, was just to pretty much send the pipes through there, which I think is brilliant, because this is going to be covered, so you're not going to see any of it. So I think uh, I'll probably take another three of those off and then cut the inside out. And we should be able to just snake piping right in there. Um, the only thing that I'm seeing, so this touches right there. So that was the benefit to cutting that. Um, and since we already kind of butchered the hood down here, either I'm gonna cut a slit in that just so this clears and it'll be easier to pop off or something I could do, which I'll probably do both. Um, so this has uh, maybe another half inch that it could come out to sit flush with this bar. So I think what I'm going to do is cut these off and then slide this over and then it will stop hitting. So that part is hitting right there. So if I slide that over, I can get that extra half inch that I want on both sides. And then I think, so I'm definitely doing the intercooler piping like that. That was a great idea. And then I think I'm just gonna notch this out just so, I mean, you're not, you're not gonna see it. So just the part that is touching here, I'm gonna notch out so that way when this opens and closes and when we wanna take this off, it's gonna be a lot easier. Um, also, real quick, um, I went up the street to my family's appliance store and got this giant piece of stainless. So the only lame part about this one is this was off like a Sub-Zero fridge, so it's massive and the inside is like reinforced so i'm gonna have to cut a lot of this stuff out like i think those center metal pieces are glued on that i don't have to worry about because i can just use the center section but so that's going to take some extra time but that is the uh unfortunately that was the only size piece they had that at least is going to work with the measurements i need on that i do have that piece of stainless right there that i can use for the sides but i needed a piece that big to cover the top all in one shot so I'm going to finish that up and um, hopefully knock that out tonight. And then we'll see if I can add some more content to this video involving the other stuff. So we'll just, I'm going to talk less, work more, and we'll see if that uh, makes the video a little more enticing and less watching me talk. So I'm going to stop talking now. Okay, so what I did was I cut those bigger for two reasons. One, uh, a lot of you had the suggestion of putting the intercooler pipe through there. I love that idea. So needed to cut that out to fit. Also, it was really hard to get my finger back in there to hold those bolts without falling. Um, normally I'd weld bolts, you know, on the underside so they just thread in, but I there's no way that's gonna happen. Um, I could cut the inside out, but I'd rather just, I mean, that wing's not gonna come on and off all the time, so. Yeah, so now I can fit my hand in there a little better. Um, I added a little tab right there, and then now that that's solid, I'm gonna add another one right here. Um, this was just a little wobbly, so that's gonna help that. Um, since this is off, uh, I'm gonna finish welding everything. And then since I'm out of this thin metal, I'm gonna use some of the, the, flick, the thicker flat stock and then cut triangles and basically put that from there to there. Just a nice, it might not be a perfect triangle, but I'm just going to cut the whole piece to fit in there, both sides. And then I did cut those, move them over. Couldn't move her, I couldn't move them over more than I did because of that piece. But it brought the intercooler back far enough to where it does sit flush with this and it doesn't hit the deck lid anymore. Um, so I'm going to do all that right now and then start cutting all that and making it fit and then kind of 
brainstorming what I'm going to do on the sides. I think I'm going to have it come up um, probably two or three inches. If you, I'll post or I'll put a picture of that drag wing again. The, the sides come up pretty tall and I do like the look of that. So I'm going to kind of play around with that idea. Um, but for now, I'm going to finish welding everything, add a couple supports, and then the structure of that will be good. Okay, so I got everything fully welded. Um, not, I don't think any part of this is like fully, fully welded. I just did kind of stitch welds everywhere. Um, I'm kind of worried, okay, and none of these welds are pretty. Sometimes I get a good bead, none of these. That's probably the best thing and that's not very good. So just get over that. <laughs> um, so I'm concerned that this is gonna be a little weak for what it's doing, so Let's see, so the intercooler needs to go this way. So I can add a support back here and it shouldn't touch. So I'm probably gonna do one from there to there. I might do uh, more of that flat stock like I did right there. I'll just get a big fat piece and kind of wedge it over here. Um, so yeah, I got those two sides in. Um, everything is welded. There's a lot that I'm gonna grind down like the little nastiness and stuff just so when I put the stainless on it, it sits nice and flush. Um, but so that's all good. So the next step is going to be, uh, those supports that I just told you about. So I'll probably knock those out quick. And then I got to start cutting the back side of that, get all the supports on that off. So it's a clean piece and then do some measuring, uh, on that draw out where I need to cut out, cut that out. Um, I need to figure out, I need to get a piece of cardboard and trace around that back. I don't know really how I'm going to do this. But I need to trace this curve out. So on that piece of stainless, I can match that same curve without cutting that 15 times. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then that top piece should be pretty straightforward after that. And then we'll have to start um, kind of brainstorming what I'm gonna do on the side. And then on the on the front of it where the intercooler is gonna show, so on the back side technically, um, where the intercooler is gonna show, I wanna cover that as well. So I'm gonna get going on that and should move along pretty quick. What you doing, Mina? I'm heat wrapping the manifold. Trying to uh, make it look a little better. <laughs> uh, let's see, where did I? Okay, so I made a template. So Mina's doing that because that's the last step for that, and then they can burn yes. it and then go on. And then on this guy, so I showed you I added those, and then I added that piece right there to just help support the cradle a little more. So once he's done with that and we put everything back on, we can put that, I can start, while he's doing that, I can start cutting that out of that stainless door. It looks nice on the other side. I got all the bracing and crap off of it. So that's the next step. And then what's left? Um, so seat, finish hooking up the water pump switch and then in the cooler piping since different intercooler and now. injectors and we're done injector yeah we got plugs for the injectors so put those in and then we're ready to party yeah that's all she wrote here's a, a sneak peek <laughs> to what may or may not happen that is a 98 millimeter turbo we got for 25 dollars and then there's a 60 mil somewhere that we got at the junkyard sneak peek <laughs> go to the downpipe downpipe seat wrap Mina has heat wrapped everything. Look at, you can't even see yeah. how bad the welds no. are. No, it took three hours. <laughs> yeah. Some of the welds were so big and ugly, he had to triple wrap it. So that's all done. That's officially on, right? We're, yep, that's, we're good. That won't come off again okay. until we build the motor. Or, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so once that's done, 
then we need to put the wing thingy back on in the intercooler. Yeah. And you then wanna weld these so they don't Are they gonna jiggle? They're gonna I mean they jiggle on the Miata. That one jiggles. Oh, so is this one. Yeah, this this attack wouldn't just, be a bad idea. Yeah. I'll leave that well yeah. Oh we don't whenever. yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Yeah. So tack those before downpipe goes on and then we gotta finish that and then once that's on we can do intercooler piping. piping. Uh, yep. And then seat. And then, and a then seat. injectors and switch. And then switch the injectors, yeah, and then water pump on a switch and then we're for, done. For a tune. Hopefully Toss. this weekend. Um, that's what we're shooting for. Hmm. I think that's... Oh, we can't uh, forget that fuel leak on the return. Remember it was dripping? I'm pretty... It looked like an O-ring on an injector. And one was ripped when I took them all out. One O-ring was ripped. I swear but, well, I saw it coming from... Okay. Yeah, regardless, we gotta yeah, we could, triple we could check all that. that was worst case scenario. Okay. But that's... Yeah. That should be... Pretty much it, right? That's it. So we're just gonna leave the the windows out since it's it's literally going on the dyno. We're not driving it there. We're not driving it back. It's gonna get tuned and then mechanically back here at least it's gonna be done. And then once and it's tuned, we can windows. start doing all the aesthetic stuff, making it look kind of pretty. Yeah. And then uh, fire's gonna come out. Yeah. Uh, roll cage needs to be completely redone. That's just a bolt-in cage and it's worthless. So that'll get redone. Um, I don't think we're not even going to put plexiglass on the firewall no, for now. Not for a tune. Yeah. No, we can, after it's tuned, we could do all that. As long as we have that barrier in front there so Jamie or Brent doesn't get shot yeah. with a piston, we should be fine. I don't think it's going to shoot with me. It's not, but just, yeah. I had nightmares. <sighs> okay, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I already showed you that. Cut that out. I'm waiting to cut the square out just until we finalize this. Um, this is kind of what we have mocked up. This goes in like such. This was your guys' suggestions. Well done. Um, that goes in like that. And then curves down under there. And then that's where it splits two to one. That side is pretty much done. I'm having a really hard time uh, getting the right combination of stuff. You're right here. Uh, most of the 90s are too tall. And then if I cut them down, uh, they don't angle down. Right, so I'm really fighting that. But other than that, we're looking pretty good. Um, I do like that. That's simple, easy, straight to the point. Um, so after that's done, uh, we have to run the intake side. So I think what we're gonna do, so, so that'll meet pretty nicely. And then cut this here, send it straight down and over to the intake, which is right there. So this will be pretty straightforward. Um, I might do that, give myself a brain break, because that's fighting me, and I'm kind of, I have all the, <laughs> I have all the junkyard rubber couplers, and I mean, I've been messing with just all the stuff that we have hanging out, there's a bunch of pipes up there I've been messing with, so that's where we're at. Um, the reason I haven't cut that square out yet is I just wanted to make sure that I'm going to position that um, flush with the back, or if I'm going to set it in a little more, I just, before... Because once we cut that, there is no moving that. It's just going to sit where it is. So I'm going to put that on, see if I like where it's at. And then if it looks good, then I'll cut that out. Um, then we have to make some sides for this, make a back plate. And then this will be done, intercool will be done. Um, on the inside, literally all we have to do is uh, actually hook that switch up, put a seat in it. Um, I'm going to try and clean up the wiring and then put the cover back on. I do want to put this on a push to start because that is broken and also janky. Um, so probably put a push to start right there where it says start. Um, so probably do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're counting down. We're planning on going to PFI this weekend. So hopefully you're watching this video soon. And then the next video of the bug you see, it's going up there. So I'm going to keep going on that and I'll update you in a minute.
Okay, so I made these cardboard templates and I made a couple, I kept changing my mind. So basically that's gonna sit like that. It's not gonna touch the body, but it's gonna be just a little bit off of it. And then, let's see, so that sits about like that. So it covers just the tip of that corner. It's gonna barely hang over the trunk, but that curves in so it's not gonna hit. And it follows that body line. And then there's about four, like three to four inches of overhang. So it'll do something like that. And it's gonna be at an angle, kind of bowed out like that because of how I made that. So that's what I'm doing, that's what I have. I have it traced on that sheet of stainless there, so I'm gonna cut that out now, see how that looks. And then what I have to do, I realized that this has to be bolt-on. The rest of it can be welded on, but this needs to come off. Otherwise, we can't get the intercooler in and out because this is smaller. Also, I cut that out. Ta-da. Um, so once that's done, and then once I have that plate cut, um, I think I need to cut this entire border off, both sides. And then I have some really nice little chrome nuts. I think I'm just gonna do one here, one there, one here, one there. So I'm gonna get this in place and then just drill holes right on here and then weld nuts on the bottom so that way we just tighten down and then that should be pretty much done. Intercooler piping is uh, basically, we just have to put clamps on everything, but this all fits nicely. Um, that side is bueno. So everything is getting wrapped up here. Um, we are gonna do a push to start before we tune it. Uh, water pump is almost hooked up, we just have to put a ground on it. Um, and then we're gonna rattle can primer the body. Uh, I got a stencil we're gonna slap on it and then put a seat in it, we're ready to roll. Um, so I'm gonna do that and we'll see how it looks and then we'll keep moving. just watched it's blizzarding like crazy what you just watched was me welding the fins on the side of the spoiler which you'll notice are not there anymore you also notice shave my head it was getting too long so what happened was uh what i should have done is tacked one side moved down about 12 inches tacked went to the other fin tacked 12 inches tack went back let the metal cool very slowly what i did was like oh yeah i'm excited and, went, nah. and between that and what i should have done is started welding in the center of the metal and then worked out, but what I did was just kind of went all over the place. So I pressed the metal in, weld it, pressed the metal in, weld it, pressed the metal in, weld it. And between that and the heat, it made that metal do something like that. So those are off. I got to cut new pieces. I was super mad when that happened, but whatever. We're going to try and do that right because it's going to, it looked pretty good as you could see. So I want it to look that good. Um, so we're going to call the video here just to put something up. We were supposed to go to PFI tomorrow, which is not going to happen. Um, but that's going to get finished up. Intercooler piping is ran. Another thing that I realized I didn't order was the proper wastegate spring size. Uh, there are 15 pound springs in there now. I want five each because we do not want 30 pounds of boost. Um, so I got to do that. Uh, water pump is wired in. We're going to do a push to start. And... I think I think that's about it most of it's done uh, we should have it done in about three days from now and then hopefully we'll have about four days to go drive the car hopefully it's not blizzarding like it is now we're supposed to get like seven inches it's it literally that literally started like 30 minutes ago so it's <laughs> it's going crazy um, so not a whole lot left so the plan is to finish it in a couple days and then we'll have three or four days to drive it and kind of just make sure everything is okay triple check all the bolts fix the fuel leak on the return um and that's it literally that's that's it at this point radiator fan we got to do a radiator fan after that that's it that's all we got to do um we're gonna rattle can primer it all one color so it looks decent and then we'll go back to the body later 
Um, other than that, I think, I think we're good. So as always guys, um, let me know what you think of the spoiler intercooler setup. Um, any more ideas you guys have, any more suggestions, let me know. Um, that intercooler idea, by the way, was an idea from a Facebook friend. So like it wasn't from YouTube, but like that wasn't my idea. I didn't birth that idea. So we do take in everyone's opinions and we do, I love reading your comments. I keep telling you guys that, but I'm not, I'm not just trying to say that. Like it's true. Like I love reading, like you guys get so engaged in this and I, it's so cool. So I read all your comments. I take all your comments into account. So let me know what you think. Um, I don't know. We're getting close. Hopefully next video it's done. And then the video after that, it's at PFI getting tuned. And then we're moving on to that. You see that big turbo? I think I already said that. I don't know. Big turbo. And then we got the... Uh, there's the little guy. It's right here. It's got this little... Uh, it's off a 6.5 Chevy diesel. Like an old before the Duramax. I don't know what motor that is. Um, so yeah. So that's coming next. Let me know what you think about that. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, we will see you later.